happy first day of class before the sun rises. Hello friends, thank you for joining me on today's, well this week's video. Um, I just got out of my first two classes of law school so this is going to be my first week in law school today is monday the 24th and classes officially start today last vlog was orientation and yeah i just got out of my first two classes the one at 6 a.m which is when i woke up i didn't say anything or talk because i literally kind of have my days or even like right down to the hour of what I'm supposed to be doing during that time and my class starts at 6 I had to wake up like at 5 30 to kind of make sure everything was good and then make coffee so that I'm awake during the class and all this other stuff but my 6 a.m class is criminal law and then at I believe like 8 something I have my civil procedure class which I just got out of and then later on today I have my contracts class I think it's a like 12 35 or something like that it's just the timing there's a time difference because obviously duke is in durham north carolina i am in washington so there is a time difference so it's really hard for me sometimes to do them like the calculations of what the time is but i just got out of class i'm supposed to be eating breakfast right now um as per my schedule and i'm not really hungry because of the coffee but yeah it was kind of exciting i wasn't too tired today because the nerves were um completely just full on just going mostly because i feel like a lot of my classes you can get cold called but for COO procedure which i just took i really liked it because he has like a panel of people that he's pre decided um, a panel of people per class who are basically going to be on the spot um, he's gonna call on them throughout the class and then there's just two wild cards which I don't think he used today and the wild cards are um, just like anybody in the classes could be me could be whatever so basically I could still get like get cold called so I was really nervous about that and I was like sweating I started like sweating <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys my planner right now on my um, iPad because I spent a couple hours yesterday just going Going over my schedule and also all weekend just basically doing readings so here's my planner that I showed you guys last time that I bought on Etsy I will link it because I actually really like it um, like I said last time she updated it so a bunch of things are like hyperlinked and I can just click on it and go straight to the page that I want to go to so this is just what I did yesterday um, as a way to relax after I was done reading for the from literally Friday to Sunday I was just reading and it was um, very eye-opening how much work um, this is actually going to be but I put little cute icons on it because I thought they were cute and then down here I just put a small little mood board type photo to um, kind of say what I'm gonna be doing for that day which is basically read read this one's also read but I didn't want to like put a picture there I might we'll see but that's basically everything I've got going on and then you can just click on this because today is Monday and you can see right here I've got everything listed right down to like the the in little 30 minute instruments like I'm supposed to be doing this 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 and this and this the reason for that and this is obviously subject to change but the reason for that right now is because I want to make sure that I schedule time to do the things that I genuinely enjoy doing a lot of the advice that I've gotten about law school is that it can really be like all consuming and people can lose themselves in doing the work because it is a lot of work and the best way to avoid things like burnout or even things like depression in law school because a lot of law students apparently are could get really depressed is to make sure that you're doing things that you love before you got into law school so just like having things like oh i want to do this and this in my head hasn't done anything for me so i'm just kind of trying to make sure i have it literally in my schedule like do this at this time something that i generally enjoy so that i can have that like mental break and also take care of myself in that manner but it's all the stuff i've got going on and then we have my tasks for today the thing about about the next 
week or so it probably even the whole first semester is that it's going to be like a gigantic learning curve because obviously um i have accepted that it's going to be a learning curve I, i've accepted that i will make mistakes um because the way that i used to study in undergrad like i was a great student in undergrad i didn't need to necessarily do like a shit ton of work to be able to be a great student in undergrad and um one thing they said during orientation is that, that that might not translate to law school and i do agree because um over the last week and i've learned okay like i have never had to read this much in undergrad like i so, so much things to read and comprehend and understand it i have never had to do that in undergrad and just the way to understand it is very different um than it was in undergrad so for example um when i was reading this weekend um basically a lot of it is like reading cases in my case books which, which are just thick as hell for no reason the learning curve there is figuring out okay what does the professor want me to understand out of this case because when i first started i was kind of under the impression in my head was that oh my god i'm gonna get cold called i'm gonna get cold called i'm gonna get cold called so make sure you know like the facts of the case make sure you know everything about the case and as i kept going through my weekend so by sunday I think the last class I did was contracts um, and by the time I got there I figured out <laughs> that okay uh, I need to actually just be thinking about what's the rule like the rule of law how is it applied in the case and what does it mean for just like the law maybe in this space or maybe in general the main point is obviously right now i'm doing a lot of work that may not be completely required because i'm not exactly sure what i don't know yet so it's really easy for me and i've done this um almost in every quarter of school even undergrad where you get in and you don't know what you don't know so you just kind of write down a bunch of things and then over the next couple of weeks um that should like minimize because then i will get more of a good um understanding of what the professor is looking for and what i'm really supposed to be focusing on when i am reading and also when i am paying attention in lectures right now i have like seven not seven three hours before my next class which is contracts so it's actually perfect because then i can just like go ahead and do things that i want to do and also do things like review and also do the reading if i happen to not do the reading for contracts the day before or the weekend before so i am going to first meditate then i want to uh, work out um i obviously eat lunch and then review for contracts just all the cases because i think there were like two and i just want to make sure that i know because i can get gold called here we go twist twist right twist twist left twist twist right twist twist left So my classes and everything like that are all done for the day. I actually finished and then went down to the like general store that is right down the street to pick up some logistical household items that we have literally ran out of. I relaxed for a little bit and now I'm gonna do some work. But um, since everything is done with like classes, like I said at the beginning, learning curve, already pretty much getting what all the professors are looking for um, when it comes to like reading notes. So I'm already kind of figuring out how I want to study for each class which is great because that helps with obviously future readings so like for example for my civil procedure class I um, figured out today that I really should not read ahead too much he actually just gives us like reading like guiding reading notes on what to like think about when you're reading and what to look for and also kind of like questions um which really helps to uh, understand what he's looking for like the type of um content or analysis that he's looking for so i don't want to read too much ahead because then i'll miss that maybe sometime later in the future i'll f maybe figure out how he's doing it and blah, blah blah but as long as he's given it to us i might as well just use it to my benefit so i don't have to do too much work for my um contracts class was fun <laughs> and interesting um because that class you get cold called and you don't know how you get cold called for it so it was really fun i didn't get cold called but i wanted to because like i said 
um, in the beginning I feel like by the time I got to taking notes for contracts over the weekend I had already gotten to the groove of the thing and switched my perspective to um, like a more substantive like theory ish based look on the cases that i was reading and it was nice to see that that was kind of what he was looking for i mean there's definitely things that i did not have that he was looking for very specific things like things that i really did not think about at all when i was reading them so i was just kind of like okay um good to know so i noted that down um and now for future readings i know like what he's kind of maybe gonna ask right now is the time of the day where i just sit down and do work for the rest of the day so i have um reading for my writing class that i is due tomorrow so i need to do that and i also want to go back into my notes and um add some stuff in also just touch up like my lecture notes to make them more like just arrange them a little bit more yeah just basically note taking reading case briefing all that stuff so we're gonna get into that right now are as spooky as my recommended readings this morning so much fog around the house and it's so pretty just got done with my only like main class for the day which is my writing class and i think i have another class at in like an hour and that is my professional development class which i did not know is a thing but it's a class that's supposed to be about um, getting us ready for the legal field and more like a professional setting. I don't really know. We haven't had it yet. It's the first class today um, and it's only for like an hour or so. So I'm upstairs in the like upstairs of the Airbnb. Our Airbnb hosts are actually not here. They went to where did they go? Just like three hours away to go fishing and they invited us and I think they're going like whale watching and they invited us completely and um, I can't go because I'm literally trying to discipline myself um to stay strict to a routine of studying and reading and all that other stuff so i can't go very sad completely completely sad i'm using this time between my classes to do some kundalini yoga i also want to journal because i haven't been able to journal at all i also want to make sure i reach out to um because there's a bunch of group me's going around but i really think it's important thus far for me to like reach out to people who have uh, who are like older classmen like upperclassmen who have had the professors that i have so that they can help me to formulate how i should be writing my notes and how i should be paying attention in class because i think that is valuable information that i should probably get After class now, I'm about to do some work, but I just got like uh, my assignment back, my first ever assignment in um, law school, I guess, and it was for my writing class. And uh, in class today, she mentioned that she like grades, not grades, but like her comments, she was like, they can be very blunt, which basically means I'm gonna get my feelings hurt, which is okay. Like it's totally okay. I think um, the main point of this entire probably entire semester or just the main thing i'm taking from it and i just wrote it in my journal when i was journaling was that i i don't know shit about shit i really don't like this is my first couple days and i'm getting used to everything and it's okay that i don't know what's going on which is very different from undergrad because and it's a point of like my anxiety because i'm used to knowing things i'm used to being smart in a sense of like undergrad and knowing what's going on in the classroom and now it's like uh <laughs> nope i i don't know i don't know what's going on i really don't I should also include somebody here that other part applies in the question of law yeah i did forget that so it was about writing a rule um like reading like a like this case and uh, case briefing it and then writing a rule so i wrote like a rule and it's just uh try to be more specific about this part does not relieve death of duty not to increase risk beyond what that which is inherent to sport okay under primary assumption use term of art inherent risk yeah i didn't use it i didn't do that 
uh, should include that part as a defense to negligence claim? He asked. After today's class, I kind of understand now how to do a little bit more of this. So that's good. I'm going to go and start doing work so that we can go do something else that isn't school related for today. From your future selves, which were things uh, written to you. Wednesday and I have a new pimple which is probably like stress. I wasn't sure if I wanted to vlog today because essentially my Mondays, Wednesdays and Thursdays are exactly the same day. Like I will not be doing basically anything different. I have my criminal law class and my civil procedure class and then my contract class and then I spent uh, or I'm going to try to spend the rest of the evening kind of trying to understand you know my my reading notes my lecture notes merge them together and understand the bigger picture um so there's not really anything new to vlog i mean if i was on campus maybe um or if we were allowed to be on campus for this i could you know be cute and aesthetic and show you guys you know aesthetic shots of the campus shots of vegan coffee things like that that i did on my in my undergrad but i can't do that now so it's almost kind of redundant for me to show you guys these things just got out of my criminal law class it was actually pretty good i think i understood it <laughs> um but the funny thing is i think the last time i like spoke i was saying something about like it's totally okay if i don't know anything and then two hours after that fact i was kind of freaking out about like oh my god i don't know anything like i don't understand anything and the imposter syndrome just like hit me full force knocked me on my feet long like on my ass basically and um i had to take like a little break <laughs> i had to literally be like okay hold on so we went went to a little waterfall, like a waterfall an hour away, and I showed you guys clips of that. It was beautiful, so refreshing, perfect remedy. That's exactly why I decided to come out here um, in the forest, basically, where there's so much nature, because nature is just like free therapy. I had like this goal uh, that I wanted to go in the water, and it was really cold, but I did it, and it's like, I think that's why people take cold baths, right? Like, I think it's like, supposed fat burn and then um like you get like clarity like mental clarity because i was freaking out about the fact that i didn't feel smart <laughs> um or like i could contribute to conversation or something but like i went and like i dipped in there and it was just kind of like very clear and i was like wait i understood everything everyone was talking about it was just like i was psyching myself out as i was listening to the conversation um because i felt like everyone was moving really fast but i i could understand what's going on i just was psyching myself out um so when we got home and the reason why i probably i don't know if i have bags i definitely probably have bags is I had like this inspiration to do work. <laughs> so I stayed up a little bit too late and I was working on mostly my civil procedures and I feel like I now understand a lot more about my civil procedure cases and what I'm supposed to be understanding. So we'll see if that um, is actually the truth later on. But I also talked to my lead fellow, um, who was the person who was in charge of like kind of like talking to us and getting us through lead week, which is orientation week. And she um, is connecting me and some other students with upperclassmen who have had my professors, which is very, very helpful, which is what I wanted to do yesterday when I was talking about. Um, so I can like maybe get their notes and see, okay, like what is he looking for? So I don't have to go like spend all this time looking for it. Just got out of class and I am doing a little jig because the study method that I stayed up last night doing worked. Like it literally worked. Like I understood what was going on. I followed along in class very well. I could help people understand it. Like it, it worked. Okay, <laughs> gotta celebrate the small victories. Anyway, I was going to take a nap because i didn't get to sleep until like 1 a.m but because i'm so like running on this high of like oh my god i understood it i'm going to actually go and work out <laughs> um my uh scheduled workout today is like a bottom or lower body workout but i think i'm just gonna do cardio because that kickboxing really got my legs like so as hell so i'm just gonna walk on the treadmill upstairs for about 30 minutes and then if i have time 
I will meditate if my mind wants to do that. <laughs> I will meditate and then review for my contracts class. And yeah, anyway, how exciting. <laughs> currently working on this memorandum right now it was the group project that i had earlier i actually like took a nap i put an alarm tried to wake up on time and my alarm didn't go off so i was like 10 minutes late so i felt so bad but um this is like the memorandum and um i haven't even started my reading yet and it's already like 6 55 so i'm definitely understanding a little bit more of why some people just make like <laughs> law school their life i mean my reading is mostly just like criminal law today because i've already read the cases but um i need to go back and just kind of make some notations of what the professor is looking for because i read them over the weekend and i didn't have the professor's like input but it's just really strange how everything is like playing out and by that i just mean like obviously i was in college for like four years and so i was taught how to write in a specific way just specifically about this memorandum and then when we were attempting to do this activity because one i think it was difficult because it was a group activity but also it's just kind of like it's a different way of thinking it is a different way of talking um and writing talking as in like writing and it's just like almost like everything that i learned in college is conflicting a little bit and when i was writing it i was telling the people like in my group like it's like my brain is like spazzing because i get really caught up in the word choice because that's what's been always kind of like important you know you write and you want to make sure that you're you're writing you know sounds good and it's um it has like a message first of all and it's coming you know it's coming across in like a nice like smart concise manner and here it's just like the language is very different i am not one of those people that can start an essay from like the bottom i know it's like tips in college it's like if you don't know how to write an essay you know you can start writing like the conclusion first and i'm like i'm not one of those people i need to go from like the beginning to the end if i don't start from the beginning to and the brain starts doing something weird so when we did this my brain was spazzing because i was like wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute where's the beginning like what's happening Where, where's the beginning um but it's just another learning curve learning whatever so i'm just gonna finish this i think i've just finished it actually and then i have readings to do for today not too much i have some like videos that i would like to watch that are about the reading hopefully i can go to bed tonight early ish i'd like to go to bed like 10 30 We'll see. Y'all, for the first time this week, your girl got eight hours of sleep, like a full on, full on eight hours of sleep. And I just feel so different, <laughs> so different. Sleep is magical. Um, yesterday was Thursday and after I finished my full like classes, uh, like around 2 p.m., I didn't schedule like reading for myself because I start my readings on Friday or I want to start my readings on Friday for like my my three like core classes or whatever um but i only had reading for my writing class today so i finished that it wasn't like a lot of reading like i finished reading it and i was like wow i could just start reading again and my brain was like nope 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 no 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 you're tired you're tired like you're tired go to sleep so i was like okay fine i'll go to sleep i'll take a nap i'll wake up and then i'll read tell me why i didn't wake up until just now yeah, I went to sleep by like 6 and then I woke up and now it's like 8. <laughs> it's like 8 a.m. Um, shout out to my boyfriend for putting my alarm on my phone or putting an alarm to wake me up for this class because I don't know if I would have been able to wake up for it. But I just, I knocked out. I knocked the fuck out. And I'm very happy about that because now I feel a little rejuvenated. I did not wash my face though. So there is a new visitor. <laughs> it's fine she can stay i don't care i'm just happy that i got some sleep and my brain feels a little bit better i think i was just giving myself a uh, brain fog honestly by not getting eight hours of sleep i have to log into zoom right now for my writing class and then today i have obviously i have readings to do probably sometime later and then i also have a meeting with my one of my mentors from one of the organizations on campus i think it's the women law 
society something like that um i think in total i have like maybe two to three mentors which is good especially for me i think for a lot of people they already know upperclassmen like people who went to like ivy leagues and they already know upperclassmen so the upperclassmen i've already given them like you know the advice and the outlines and all that other stuff and i haven't gotten that i think a bunch of like you know first generation students haven't gotten the opportunity to get that yeah, and that's really good advice. It's worth a lot <laughs> to get somebody else's outline and to see what your professor is looking for. So I'm really glad that I get to speak to like mentors who have taken like my classes and stuff like that. So I can also get that because I think it's a great advantage and I'm glad that I get it. Anyway, so much energy. Like I don't even need coffee. Like I'm just uh, asleep. <laughs> So end of week one, it's actually the weekend after week one and I'm watching Cricket go to the restroom or at least attempt to go to the restroom so I can go back to studying but figured I'll end this vlog because I never end my vlogs well and just to say that week one was um it just was it was really interesting i think it was really funny because over the last couple of hours i've had the time to look at my planner i think it was really funny how optimistic i was at the amount of things i would be able to do during week one when really it should have been and it quickly became just to adjust to learn and to survive <laughs> during week one because a lot of the things that are being thrown at me I've never had before I've never encountered before a lot of the material there is just so much material that is coming at you full force for the first week this first week I've read a lot more than I did for I feel like a quarter at UCI during my undergrad so it's a lot so a lot of the things that I wanted to do, things like, you know, I had all these time blocks that I wanted to go do yoga at this time, blah, blah, blah. And it just quickly became like, I couldn't do that because I wanted to study and I had to study and I was freaking out about studying and blah, blah, blah. So really it is just to learn, pay attention, uh, adapt, <laughs> adapt, really adapt, readjust all of that and survive week one so that you can understand what's going on. Just need to keep up. That's literally the only goal should be that you keep up and also that you sleep for a good amount of time so the next day you are um, functioning at your best. Um, but yeah, I will try my best to vlog for this entire law school journey especially the first year because i know it can be really good for people like myself who are first-gen students and especially go